Hello, today we're going to be making charred pepper pozole. I'm Chef Emily and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. To start this popular Mexican stew, we are going to clean some bell peppers. Today we're using three different colors. This will make the soup pop quite a bit. To remove the seeds, you just want to use a spoon and scoop them out just like this. In addition to our bell peppers, we're going to add jalapeno and poblanos. So the heat of this dish is gonna come from these two chilies. The beautiful thing about a poblano is that it's more mild in flavor. The jalapeno will add the kick. We do wanna remove the ribs. And that's where a lot of the heat is held. And the seeds. So I'm just gonna take the top off, cut it in half. I also have some sliced onions here, which will go on the grill as well. Nice drizzle. And give these a turn with some tongs. By cutting the onions in thinner slices, you'll get a better char on the grill. All right, that looks good. So I have fresh chorizo links, which we do need to remove the casing so we can form them into patties. And what that's gonna do is gonna give a better char and surface area on the grill. And then from here, we're just gonna remove the fresh pork which also has dried spices and sometimes fresh chilies and just form it into a ball and smash it into a patty. I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna get this stuff on the grill. We're gonna go ahead and give these a flip. We wanna make sure you cook them for four to six minutes on each side. What we're looking for is a nice char. We have achieved the beautiful char that we need to make the elements of this dish taste phenomenal. So we need to cool these vegetables down so we can chop them up and make them bite-sized for the soup. So we're gonna stick them over here on this tray and we're gonna start getting ready to char our chorizo. All right, our patties are ready to go on. We're going to make sure we don't get them too close together so they have room to char on the grill. So really what we're looking for here is a nice char on one side. You wanna make sure you really cook your chorizo all the way through. These look perfect. Let's take them off the grill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow these to cool down so that way we can dice them up later for the soup. All right, I'm gonna go grab the rest of the ingredients for the pozole. All right, we have a Dutch oven and we're gonna go ahead and preheat this so we can get going on our soup. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and cut our vegetables. They look great and we have so many colors to work with. So all of our vegetables and our trees have been diced. We can go ahead and start making our soup. So we have our preheated Dutch oven. Add in two tablespoons of canola oil. And to that, we're gonna add in our seasonings. So we're starting off with sazon. And sazon has netto seed, which is yellow. And we also have culantro or coriander. Coriander is gonna add a nice citrusy flavor. We have ancho chili powder which is nice and smoky, a little spicy. It is dried poblanos that have tobacco and raisin notes. And then cumin, which has a nice toasty flavor. We're gonna toast the spices in the oil so that we can basically pull out all of the oils and the spices. 
So this has been going for about a minute. Our spices look good. They're starting to simmer a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic. Next, we have our vegetables and everything that we worked so hard on, our chorizo, peppers, all of the components of the soup. So we're gonna add this in very carefully. Beautiful color. Give this a stir, turn up the heat. Okay, so using your senses here, obviously this is hot and ready to go. You can smell it, you can see it. It's making a sound, so you know you can start adding in your liquid. Um, the caramelization in the bottom of the pot is perfect. So we're gonna add in chicken stock. Enchilada sauce. And one of my all time favorites, fire roasted tomatoes. So hominy goes through a soaking process. What it was was dried corn maize um, and it was soaked in a lye or lime solution. And what this does is it helps you remove the hole in the germ, um, which in that case can be turned into tortillas or soften the corn for the pozole. And we're gonna let this come up to a boil. All right, we're gonna put the lid on this pot and let it simmer for 45 minutes. All right, so all of the flavors have had time to marry. Let's take a look at the pozole. Wow. We do need to garnish this soup, so we have some cilantro. To balance out some of the heat from the chilies and also the sweet corn, we're gonna add lime juice. We're gonna give this a stir. Awesome, and now we can uh, ladle this up into our bowls. We have a lot of different toppings to work with, and really what makes the pozole is all the different fun toppings we can add to this. I want two ladles for me. Suggested servings, two ladlefuls, because it's gonna be that delicious. we we'll to let this cool for a second and we're gonna top it off with all these different things. So depending on where you are in Mexico, this changes. So we're gonna start off with some coleslaw. This will add nice fresh crunch. Okay, we also have radish, which also adds crunch, color, a little bitterness. Beautiful. A few jalapenos, if you like it spicy. These are pickled jalapenos. Raw onion for crunch. Just a little bit of that. We also have crema. We're gonna add some cotija, which is a nice salty, milky cheese. If you're missing the salt in your dish, you could load up on the cheese. So we're going to add lime. Give it a mix. I wanna get a little bit of everything. Mmm, that's good. I love the char, it's fantastic. Tastes like we've been cooking it all day. The sweet hominy, the salty cheese, the crunchy coleslaw. This is a perfect dish. Click the link below for this full recipe, subscribe to the Publix YouTube channel, and check out the Aprons Cooking School online playlist for more from our chefs. Thank you.